Hello everybody! Today is a very serious topic about fake collectible statues. I have decided to make this one in order to help our collectors community to distinguish what is real and what is fake. You may have come upon links where people are explaining what is real and fake for a specific statue. One good example is the link that I will leave below for Altair on the bell. That one is a very frequently fake statue, so somebody actually helped a lot in order to explain all the details. However, how do you distinguish in general for statues that nobody has ever explained or that you cannot really find a proper guide what is real and fake? You need to think like somebody who wants to make a fake statue for profit. So, what will they need? First of all is a small 3D scanner so that they can scan the original statue and get a decent duplicate. That is a one-time investment, so you can imagine, once they have it, they want to fake as many as possible. Secondly, it's a tool. In this case, it would be mostly prototype tool, just for maybe like 5,000 pieces. That sounds a lot, but there are a lot of collectors and if they see that it's selling well, they can make it again. If they see that it's not selling well, then that one is scrapped. They will also need machine to put that tool on. You cannot really find them in your standard small copy shop. It's nothing like, yeah, here you can make scans, here you can make copies, and there you can put your tools to make toys. No. For that, they really need a small factory. So that means that whoever is doing that has a limited amount of sources where to do it. And of course, they also need to put correct colors. Okay, semi-correct. Which means that they need to put colors that looks kind of like original, but most of the time they do not have access to the original colors or they are just simply too expensive so they are replacing them with cheaper ones. That is also the case for materials. So what does it mean for us? You need to look for details. You need to look for details that are otherwise sharp, that are now smooth on the copy. That can be fingernails that are not visible anymore, that can be some imprints that are now a little bit smushy, that can be facial expressions and noses that are now a bit bigger than on the original, that can be different shape of eyes or all kind of these little things. Secondly, you need to check for textures. They are using cheaper materials. Those are not holding shapes so correctly. So that means that some textures might be gone. What was looking like a type of a cloth, is now too smooth or too grainy. And lastly, you need to look for the colors. It seems that that is where they are making the most blunders. Because some of the colors might be difficult to make or difficult to make the exact shade properly, so they are too white, too dark, too pale, too shiny, too glossy. So you need to check for all those details and you need to check it part by part. Okay, with this knowledge, how to use it? Let's say that I want to buy Aya. And there are some Ayas on sale, but I am not sure if they are real. Of course, if they are just using original pictures is difficult to discern. But if ever they will use the picture of the statue that are actually selling, that's when your chance is. Then you need to focus. In this case, I have found this Aya on internet. And you can see that there are differences between her and the original. 
You can see that the white lining on the coat is not so detailed. You can see a different color of her shoes. And you can also see that suddenly the line of her nose is different. All that will tell you, yes, this is a fake. Sadly, it's not just to check for the country of origin. It's nothing that difficult to put their US address. And it's not even difficult for some people to buy it, then finding out it's fake and then trying to sell it. Once fakes flooded the market, you will have to be vigilant. So why do you want to know it? Because you want to buy real. Or if you want to buy fake, not that it is legal, you want to know that it's fake. You don't want to buy fake thinking that it's real. That's not fair. This is why I made this video. If you are interested more, I can put pictures of my statues in all the details so that you can use them as a reference. I can even put my research statue by statue, what I have found for the fake statues and what can be the calling points there. Just tell me in the comments that you want it and I will do it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. And see you next time. And I hope the next time I can show you the newest Altair with the Apple of Eden. The statue that just came out from Ubisoft. Bye!